NCAA champion Zane Rutherford from Penn State, and Zane has finished with a 34 and 0 record this season. And do you have some water there, Zane? Are you good? I'm set. Thanks. Okay. You want to make a statement about your match tonight, and we'll throw it open for questions. Uh, it's just starting to sit in right now. I just got done about two minutes ago. Um, it was awesome. That's all, I, that's all I can really say about it. It was, it was awesome. A reminder. Uh, because ASAP Sports is transcribing, don't forget to identify yourselves when you get the microphone. Thank you. Zane, Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, and Ohio Cast. Uh, the amount of pressure, energy, heat you put on people is literally unprecedented. It's historic. How are you able to just keep that energy level, the pressure, and just the amount of just intensity you put, you put upon people, the energy? How are you able to do that? And, and do you train for this every day? Um, yeah, definitely. I train for this every day. Um, I have a great coaching staff and great partners that push me every day. Um, you know, we have five guys in the finals, and I wrestle every one of them, you know. And even guys that aren't out there wrestling right now, they're back home, second, third string guys, they work hard. They, uh, you know, they push me in summer training, we're going on runs and stuff, and just we push each other to get better, and we have fun in the process. That's a big part. Questions, Gary? Zane, you've been a Cadet World Freestyle Champion and you just qualified for the Olympic Trials. Are you anticipating you'll be in Iowa City? And, and what are your goals for it that event if you do go? Um, yeah, I'm 100% want to go to that. That's, that's so, you know, I don't know how many people get to get a chance to wrestle in it, so I'm definitely going to do that. And every tournament that I enter, I want to win, so that's my mindset. There. Adam Roberts, Press Enterprise Sports Department. Hey, uh, just to build on, you said, you know, having fun. You know, you were crushing some watermelons and stuff in the off season. Uh, you know, how many how many watermelons did you crush, you know, to get this championship? Um, well, I live on a pumpkin farm in Benton, Pennsylvania, and, you know, some of the watermelons there are kind of harder. Um, but I, I picked some up from a grocery store, and my record was three, but I kind of cheated, kind of loosened them up a little bit. But uh, the first one was definitely the hardest. It was, it was dense. It, it looked small, but it was dense. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, right in the back. Yes. Michael Oz, Cedar Rapids Gazette. What are the reasons, the main reasons in your mind for uh, your program's dominance over the last six years? <clears throat> um, what, are my, what are my thoughts about it? Why? 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 Yeah. Um, just because I think I think we have we have a great mindset with our team. The coaches are great at making sure the guys are confident and and having fun. That's a big part of it. We're not just you know robots running through brick walls. We're we're having fun doing stuff. We we play dodgeball with the coaches. It's a lot of fun. You know, play handball every most days during practice. So they keep it light, but they keep it competitive. Questions in the back there. Mitch Rupert from the Williams Sports Sun Gazette. Zane, we talked earlier this year about the changes you made and constantly with your hands on people's heads and, and moving guys around. Mm -hmm. When you and Cam decided to make that change, did you realize that it was going to turn you in to this caliber of wrestler? Um, no, I mean, I just, you know, I, you can't look that far ahead. I'm just, I'm just enjoying every, every day and every, every moment I'm grateful for. Every second I can speed out on that mat, and today was a lot of fun. So. Any other questions for Zane? Right, oh, right back here in the back, Eddie. <laughs> All right, Eddie Goldman, no holds barred. Congratulations. When you're wrestling somebody that you just recently defeated, how does that affect your mindset going into the match? In his mindset, do you want to do something even different than you did in, in the Big Ten? Um, yeah, I mean, I got a feel for him in Big Tens. I had, haven't really wrestled him in folk style before, so getting the feel on guys for the first time, you kind of know their tendencies a little bit, and I knew some of them um, from that going into this match today. But I, I think to answer your question, his mindset. I don't, I don't know what his mindset was. Um, I've been in that position before where I lost somebody, had to wrestle him again, and you can't go in with any emotion, or else you're gonna get tired. And I think that's. The mindset you gotta take, and then if you already defeated a guy um, once before, you gotta you gotta show up because you know he's gunning for you the second time. 
Right here, last question. Zane Zub Miller, Fluorescent Ohio Cast. Uh, you're a world champion, and you, you say you're not talking about looking ahead too far, but clearly this has got to follow the Nittany Land Wrestling Club path eventually. Are you more focused <laughs> on winning three NCAA titles or Olympic gold? What, where does the focus go from here? What's the prioritization within the staff? I mean, it's both. When it's, when it's folk style season, it's folk style season. And we're thinking, you know, the guys that are competing, national title, that's what we want. And you just got to keep your goals realistic with your, with your actions. You know, if I'm doing the right things and I'm, I'm pursuing what I want to do. I'm doing the right things to achieve my goal. Just got to stay focused. And then that focus carries over to the freestyle season. You know, when, when it's freestyle, we're, we're also thinking about the folk style season a little bit for the guys who don't train um, folk freestyle, but definitely, definitely a switch of gears. Unless someone has an urgent question, we'll wrap it up here. Anybody else, anything really? Okay, Zane, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. Zane Rutherford, you're